Okay, once we've got the estimates, we can start to calculate the total time for our project. Now, most people relate time to something like a Gantt bar, where the task is defined by a bar spreading across some time scale. So a timing chart or a Gantt bar, we'll look at Gantt charts in, uh, uh, later in this lecture. And our dependencies are shown usually on a Gantt bar with an arrow connecting them. And if we look at these two tasks, we can say, well, if the first task takes five days, I can't start the second task until the beginning of day five. So we can use, we can use logic to calculate this, perhaps better than the equations that I'm about to give you. Now, sometimes tasks are overlapped. We had a look at this in lecture three, but lead time means there is an overlap between the two tasks. We can actually start the second task before the first one has finished. And our opposite of lead time was lag time. This is where there is a delay between the tasks. Um, creating the tooling and trying out the tooling, there is a delay of two days, probably because there's a transportation or a delivery. My suggestion here is that we always have that dummy task to make it clear why we are delaying or there is a gap or a lag between the tasks. So on a Gantt bar, we would see the duration of the tasks. We'll see lead and lag. I recommend that we put dummy tasks in rather than use lag time. In lecture three, we looked at dependency charts. And this is how we display lead and lag on the dependency charts. Uh, we don't normally put a zero in, we just leave it blank and there's no lead or lag. If there is a lag, a delay between tasks, we put a positive number. If there is a lead, we have a negative number. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work our way through the project using some common sense to try and calculate when the project can finish. I mean, in this instance, the earliest we can start that second task is the length of time of the first task. If the first task took six days, I can't start the second task until day six. So the start of any task is determined by the duration of the task before it. And what we're going to be doing is something called the forwards pass or the forwards schedule. We're going to work our way forwards through the project, calculating the earliest possible starting time for each of the tasks, the EST, the early starting time. And basically, the early starting time of any activity is the early starting time of the activity before it, plus the duration of the task before it. I mean, it's common sense. If this lecture takes 50 minutes, the next task that you're going to be doing, going home, having a meal, going to Starbucks for a coffee, can't start until we've started this lecture and the duration of this lecture. However, when we do this, we have to remember that we have to subtract any lead time because the second task can start before the first task has finished, or we need to add any lag time. So the early starting time of an activity is the early starting time of the activity before it, plus the duration of the activity before it, plus any lag or minus any lead. And using this equation, we can work our way all the way through the project from the start to the end, calculating the earliest possible starting time of each task. Now be careful, because if a task has got two tasks before it, it can't start until they've both finished. So if the first task finishes at day four and the second task doesn't finish till day six, we can't start the next task until at least day six. So when we're going forwards doing this calculation, if there's two tasks before a task, we have to take the biggest number going forwards. So looking at the dependency charts, we can calculate the earliest start time for each task based on the duration. We'd start with task A, we'd work our way through, we'd consider the lead and lag, and we'd work all our way to the finish task. And we can find out the earliest possible starting time for the end of the project, for the finished task. And that would represent 
This is the soonest we can finish the project. And that's what a forwards pass or a forward schedule is.